Hello there, welcome to another Star Wars Galaxy Furious video. It is day number 120 for Mr. Cornhorn, the best star pilot in the galaxy. Although I might lose that title, uh, unfortunately, we had a little snafu in the last Grand Arena, and uh, Mr. Cornhorn got kind of cocky and didn't play very well. So we, we um, I, I guess we'll start talking about that since I'm talking about it already. Uh, so we did go 2-1 and one in the first week. Um, uh, I do have some video from the second round, which I will show. Um, it's a little anticlimactic, though, because even though the opponent looked legit and set a defense, he never ended up attacking. I don't know if it's because, if it's because we, we did well or, or what, uh, but for whatever reason, he didn't attack. Round 1 was a, a cakewalk. He didn't set defense. Um, we full cleared him. So he, he didn't end up bothered attacking either. Round three, um, it, it was a, a, a narrow loss. He he couldn't full clear me, um, but I did absolutely horrible on offense. So he didn't have to do all that much to to win. Um, so the lesson is don't buy your own hype. Um, <laughs> your characters can't do more than they can actually do. So um, you know think about what's realistic and uh you know go from there uh, unfortunately i don't have any video of that um but um that's okay we'll we'll try to record some more hopefully this upcoming week uh, will be good for that uh, like i said i'll add on uh round two at the end of this video uh, but let's jump into our roster reviews okay uh so we did a little bit of work on piet i think yeah, I think he was nine. Oh, he still is nine. <laughs> we didn't do any work on Piet. We're wanting to do work on Piet. Uh, I'd like to get him more survivable. Uh, yeah, I think we have some slight changes on Grand Moff Tarkin. I think that's about it in the last six days. Uh, unfortunately, farming this one piece just was mind-numbingly slow. Uh, did not have good RNG at all. Um, so... Uh, we're getting close on these two pieces, though. Um, that'll get them up to year 13, so we're done with that. Just need seven more there. And this one, let's see, we're done there. Need nine more there, so uh, 16 more salvage pieces. And we'll have another year 13. Uh, and that's important because he's got a capital that I use. So, anyway, uh, I think Thrawn will be the next year 13 uh, that I push for. Um, and I'm still working on Piet. Um, be great to get him up to gear 11 at least and have him ready for gear 12 when I finish off his farm, which will still be a little while. Um, so yeah, I did the second Zeta, Zeta on Shakti just a day or two ago. So I, I did get that extra Zeta. Uh, that's good. Um, so yeah, I think we did on Unity Wins War. Yeah, they get 5% health and protection when they attack out of turn. That's very good. Uh, especially when it comes to 5 versus 5. Not quite as good in 3 versus 3. But nobody likes 3 versus 3, but CD makes us do it anyway. So, there we are. Okay. Um, let's see. I don't think there's been too much change down here, but we're going to scroll through it and just, you know, so it's recorded. <sighs> you have to excuse me there. Got up early this morning. Yeah, I've been still working on all, you know, the, the same farms that we've been working on. Uh, nothing's really changed there. We are very close to Kenobi. We got a, 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 a raid that will kick off in an hour. Give me six more shards, so uh, one more raid. Uh, so hopefully before the next video, I'll be able to unlock him if we so choose. Okay, yeah. So that's how we're looking for Sith uh, Emperor Eternal. Uh, Dooku has is, is actually really impressed me in Grand Arena. He's, he's done well. Um, so that, that's been good. Um, yeah. Eventually, we want to get to these these troopers here with uh, Piet. Um, 
I think we're close to unlocking the Emperor's Shuttle, so I might want to work on Royal Guard before too long as well. Speaking of ships, let's check out where we're at. Okay. So Anakin is getting very close to six stars. Very much looking forward to that. Uh, any extra health that we can give him um, would be good. Plus extra damage is always good. He hits like a truck, even at five stars. Uh, TIE Bomber would love to get that seven stars, but we're still a ways away from that. Uh, but we're, we're consistently chugging away there. Get close on Hound's Tooth. Close-ish. Um, that'll, that'll, that'll be good to hit as well. Um, yeah, not a whole lot of other changes. I've got a little more arc, Rex's arc and uh, Slave One shards. Uh, I've bought a couple of those when they've shown up, I think, in the uh, ship store. Um, yeah, otherwise, not much change. We are still farming the Genos and Spies ship in the Galactic War store. We're getting close to being done with that. Okay, Emperor Shuttle 69 to 80, so yeah, 11 more shards. With the Emperor being at R5, um, even at four stars, I expect that it'll be a useful ship, uh, especially once I gear up Royal Guard. Um, you know, if, if for no other reason than making the TIE Bomber uh, more tanky. You know, if that's the first reinforcement I call in, I start with three, then all of a sudden it's getting 80% extra protection instead of 60%. And that's a lot, because it's, it's got a decent amount, so... There we go. Uh, Arena, I've already dropped a few times since my payout today. We actually have a payout tracker, uh, which is kind of cool. But I've been top 20 most days, I think every day. No, every day but one, I think. So, been doing good there. Uh, Piet's really helped solidify that. So, yay. Uh, thank you again for that suggestion. And Fleet Arena. We've been doing well there as well. I did change my fleet. Oh, what am I doing? Um, to put in Hound's Tooth, make it more tanky. So, this is what we're running right now. I actually, I kind of like TIE Fighter starting out uh, because it's so fast. Um, it can get the dodge up and then feed extra turn meter to uh, Grandma Tarkin so we can, you know, use abilities there and call reinforcements faster. Uh, plus, when I call in the TIE Advanced, uh, I inflict a lot of damage over time, uh, debuffs, um, and that's helpful too. So, uh, this isn't really ideal, but it's good enough. Uh, I actually have been top five, I think, every day. Um, I actually got first at least one day, maybe twice. I think I've been third um, a good number of days. So, we're doing really well in fleets. So our, our emphasis on fleets has really paid off. That's that's really helped that crystal income. Um, so we gotta keep the focus there, and uh, you know that'll continue paying off for us. That's a lot of thing. That's something that a lot of people miss. Shouldn't ignore it. Oh, well, I said it was gonna kick off in an hour. I was wrong. It already <laughs> already simmed. Okay. So yeah. So there we go. There's our roster review. Nothing super exciting today. Just one new Zeta. Uh, hopefully there'll be some more exciting news uh, next time, and I'll uh, send it over to uh, Grand Arena. Show you some some video there. He did have a good, pretty good defense set, so I think it was a a pretty good match to watch. Uh, I wish he would have attacked to see what he would have been able to do, but eh, you know, we'll take the win any either way. All right, God bless. We'll see you on the next video. Peace. We're ready. We are in round two of Grand Arena. Our opponent this time, Rumple Foreskin. Um, great name there. Very appropriate, I'm sure. Apologize for that if anyone's offended. This is round two. Um, so round one was a victory. I decided not to record it because he did not set defense and he ended up not attacking either. Uh, so it was auto set. So... There wasn't really much to show. So, uh, this should be a much more eventful round. Um, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it'll go well. Let's take a look at his defense. So we've got a Sith team, really, 
that's what it is. Well, the Vader lead, and you know, Vader's good, but his is only at 194 speed. Uh, you know, he'll get extra speed from the other guys, but my Vader's faster, quite a bit faster. So I'm hoping to solo that with my Vader. <coughs> He's got a Galactic Republic team, which I think I'm going to use Dooku to solo. Then over here, um, the First Order team is is good. I'm thinking I'm going to use my uh, Jedi with Bastila the lead here. And then another Sith team, which uh, I'll, I'll probably use Anakin to solo. Um, that'll leave us a couple couple teams left on uh, for the back wall here. So my defense, I kind of went light up here, uh, Phoenix, and then kind of uh, clones I didn't use elsewhere. Here's where I went much more difficult. Um, this will hopefully give them some some good challenge. Uh, so it'll be tough to get through. Um, and then clones the with shock T. That's that's not a, a joke either. Even though it's only forty thousand, it's it's better than it looks, especially with a couple Zetas on there. And the back wall, I've got some bounty hunters. They they're kind of throwaway bounty hunters. Kept my uh, my best for offense, uh, some throwaway Jedi, and Geos. This was the stopper. So hopefully I can get a couple battles at least out of here. Uh, you know, a couple waste, and then they can't get through Geos. And ships, as usual, very difficult. Uh, so hoping they'll struggle there as well. So that's the game plan. Full clear them, prevent the full clear. Uh, and as always, we start at the bottom to see what's in the back before we go to the top. Just in case there's anything tougher down down there, you know we can make the adjustments necessary. So this is the toughest team. Um, so we'll go there first. So I think they're actually a little bit higher GP than me. Um, hmm. Yeah. So here we go. Let's hope this works out. So I'm going to go for the low-hanging fruit and try to get rid of Phasma first, but let's actually get some tenacity up. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. I'm a little out of practice. I should have spread the buffs. Oh, well. Crew is so frustrating. Okay, let's spread some retribution around. Let's see if we can get a big hit here. I would love to get the advantage, but I don't really want him retaliating. So, okay, good. We got a, a stun at least. Okay, now we got some offense and defense penetration. That'll be very helpful. Ugh, thought that would knock him out. There we go. Spread those buffs around. It's hoping for a stun there. Oh, let's see. If I do that. Let's go there, knock that off. Mm. There we go. Okay, so not pretty. Um, I guess 53 is max banners. Let's see, we, we lost one there, and two, uh, 54 is max banners, so... Not pretty, but we got through it uh, with one attempt. So that's the big thing. Uh, so I could actually use bounty hunters here, but I think I think I just want to use Anakin to solo. Oh, 
thought he would do better than that. That's disappointing. This may not work out, actually. Okay. That was a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. Um, but... <laughs> It worked, <laughs> so. Okay, let's take a look at this back wall. Okay, so nothing super scary back here. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, we'll take care of this front, uh, and then we'll worry about the back. So, um, I could add TIE Fighter Pilot here, just to give me a little extra, and give him more speed, give one more guy uh, to ensure I get through this. Um, that would leave me at least two Empire. Well, they really need three, because Thrawn, when he fractures, isn't going to do much else. Thrawn's not very good at soloing, unfortunately. Let's try it. Merciless Massacre first, because I don't have Palpatine lead. So, I think I need to get rid of Vader first. Let's hope this works. Perfect. 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 Okay. 56 banners. We'll take that. Um... And yeah, Dooku should be able to solo this. He's got advantages versus Galactic Republic. Let's see. He likes to counter. So, oh well. Let's, um, yeah. Attacking out of turn is Dooku's specialty. And when he attacks out of turn, he'll get some protection back. It's annoying. <laughs> nice little uh, error there. Thanks, CG. Okay. Easy. Could have put that one on auto. We'll take that. Let's take a look at the fleet real quick. Uh, 145 and not even Galactic Republic. Yeah, not worried about that. So his back wall is very soft across the board. Uh, let's take the clones out. Well, yeah. Um, I think I want to use bounty hunters here because I'm really not worried about that team. More worried about this. Where's my money hunters? I normally like to taunt first, but uh, I was just trying to get get her out quick. I, th I thought maybe be able to get her out in one fell swoop there, but that didn't happen. You know what? She might die. wonder if I can kill her. Nope. Ugh. That 
that's so disappointing. That's so disappointing. Should've just killed her. Oh well. I guess I need my defense to uh you saw my other other count there. I should have maximized this before I began. Um yeah. Should have just killed her off, oh well. Okay. So let's see. I haven't upgraded his leadership, so I'm not gonna do that. So we'll go a little overkill here. Try to get full banners. It's a little annoying. Um, okay, full banners. We'll take that. Last team here. Uh, we're just going to go with some mishmash rebels. Yeah, that'll work. That's the biggest damage dealer we've got. And there we go. Easy peasy. Okay. So now we will do this fleet, get the full clear. And uh, we'll be good to go, we'll just wait on them. Uh, so yeah, I don't think I even need a reinforcement, honestly. They'll give us some extra banners. So there we go, we'll, we'll hope I'm not wrong here. Try to get Hera out first. Well, at least they're just going for one guy so far. Maybe they can keep it all on Ahsoka and I can kill him. So all of those banners on the one. You know what? I could do that. Recovers seventy percent protection. <laughs> Not that it matters. Okay, sixty-four banners. That's uh, that's pretty good for fleets. Um, at this stage of the game, so we'll take it. Okay, so full clear. Um, banners weren't as as good as I was hoping for, honestly. But I think it's it's a it's a good number, so uh, I will update at some point soon, hopefully, with uh, what he does here. Hopefully, uh, like I said, he's not able to clear through the back walls if he's able to get through by this at all. Um, I haven't actually shown his roster, uh, so yeah, he, he does have a pretty good Jedi team there, so he should be able to get through the front. Duke might be able to solo something on the top there. Um, and he's got some, some bounty hunters, maybe. Yeah, so he's, I mean, he's, he's got, you know, two Jedi teams that are going to be pretty good. Um, and he's got a CLS, which is nice. So, you know, he, he could, he, he could probably get through everything if he plays it right. The question is, can he get through ships? Um... And that's where we'll see. I think he'll have a tough time. I mean, he, he, he did save all his best stuff for offense. 
so maybe with two two battles he can um hopefully we'll we'll see anyway uh appreciate you all watching we'll see you next video